exercise. You should be on this bus with us. Listen to the teachers. No to academies. Listen to the children. No to academies. We were relieved, to say the least, when the University Schools Trust withdrew just before Christmas. We've been told that a sponsor's been found but we won't be told who the sponsor is. We've heard rumours it's United Learning Trust. ULT, not for me! ULT, not for me! We wondered what ULT stood for. Undermining learning and teaching. That's what ULT stands for in our minds. We have an appointment with Mr Coles. Is we have a school. office today? Pardon? He's not in the office today. Oh, well, that's rubbish, isn't it? We would like to hand over a letter to him. OK, can you pop it in the post box to your left? No, can we oh, let no. Can you actually come down, please, and hand it? No, so you can put it in the letter box. Well, it's useless, isn't it? She's saying, what's she saying? She said that she's going to pick it up later. Even the government's own evidence shows that academies do not raise pupil standards. We know that when a school joins a multi-academy trust, it loses its legal right as an independent entity. It loses its ability to control its budget. The siphoning off of £120 million in 2016 to sponsors who ripped off the public purse in order to line their own pockets. You lose the ability to determine your own staffing and the size of your classes. You lose proper parental involvement and you lose dedicated school governors. Hands off John Rome! Hands off John Rome! Hands to the Kennedys! John Rome is it! Hands to the Kennedys! John Rome is it! All over the country, parents, teachers, children are gathering together to campaign against and in many cases win the war against their school being academised against their will. The NEU is standing shoulder to shoulder with you against forced academisation. I chose to send my children to a small community primary school. I didn't choose to send them to an academy. No. We've been given Net Academies Trust. The Director for Education of Essex County Council was actually a member and was on Net Academies Trust at the point this decision was made. They're actually the sixth worst academy trust in the country. They've got 112 issues of safeguarding at one school with only less than 300 pupils. These guys are off rolling whole schools. They've been failed by the trust and now they're looking for a new sponsor. But the issue is, is they're finding it difficult to find any other sponsors because the schools are in such a bad state. When NETA have taken Holy Cross and ruined it, then who's going to want it? Nobody. Since 2011, 9% of the cohort to 2017 have been off rolled. These are children who are far more likely to have special needs, to be black, the largest number of children have been off-rolled are in care. They start kind of encouraging parents to, to voluntarily withdraw their own children. 55,000 children in 2017 have disappeared for, unaccounted yeah. for. And the DfE doesn't even have a list of the children that are supposed to be yeah. home educated. Schools are being academised on the basis of a shoddy inspection agency, Ofsted, who have been politicised in the drive to academise our schools. Our academy order was the result of a special measures of stead judgement, which we disputed at the time. They've since come back in and they conducted a monitoring visit. We're making progress, we're on the way to removing special measures, and we've actually done that without any help or support. Our petition, we demand Damien Hines revoke the Academy Order on the John Rowan. We've had a monitoring visit by Ofsted in the last month. We're improving with local authority control. Thank you very much. The whole community in Wolf Mabby is totally against uh, NETA as a sponsor. In Including fact, the mayor. Yes. Who <laughs> we met in the demo. <laughs> Our lovely Conservative Mayor, Mayoress, she actually came and walked with us on crutches at our march. You know, all of the councillors, all of the local councillors, be it uh, Conservative, Labour, Lib Dem, are all united in the fact that this is a really bad decision and this is not right for Holy Cross. Actually marching against their own policies. In fact, Waltham Abbey has never seen a march since the peasants' riots. That's how far it goes. We've had enough of being ignored, we've had enough of the lies, we've had enough of the pretense. We know that Damien has the power to revoke the order. Revoke the order! He has the power. Revoke the order! He's the one man that has the power. 
He's done it in 33 cases. Our children can't afford the private schools that Mr Hines can afford. You know, and your state is stripping them. We're stripping them and stripping them and stripping them. There's not going to be anything left. No to academies! John Ryan resists! No to academies!